Well, good Thursday morning, everybody. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here. So, so much to talk about in the coming days ahead of us here. And a little bit of a rant. I'm going to go on towards the end here. So I apologize if you don't like rants, but going to have to do it again. It's for the same old reasons we talk about, really, especially during the winter months. But I'll get into that towards the end. First off, speaking of winter, it's chilly out there this morning. Most of us are below freezing. We continue with the frost advisories and freeze warnings until 9 o'clock in most of these spots till 8 a.m. in Republic County, Kansas, there, northeast Kansas. And uh, as I talked about before, the North Platte National Weather Service office, that's why you're seeing all those areas to the north and west that aren't highlighted. They did not issue these out. Basically, they kind of talk about, uh, you know, maybe it's too early to talk about the growing season, and so there's no need to put them out in those locations. Some may beg to differ, but that was their decision. They did not put one out. That's who issues out these advisories and warnings. And you can already see some winter headlines in northwest Nebraska uh, as there is some snow potential coming in in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. And hey, many of us could even see some snow down the road towards the weekend. So let's take a look at your future cast here. We're going to be watching for an increase in clouds from the southwest after starting with clear skies this morning. So increasing clouds, maybe even a couple of sprinkles by noon with a chance of rain then starting to pick up during the afternoon hours from the southwest. So the farther southwest you go, the more likely you are to see a little rain this afternoon, maybe some claps of thunder out towards the west. We continue to see those rain chances get better during the evening and overnight hours as an area of low pressure moves through. You can see that counterclockwise rotation. Uh, that continues right into the day tomorrow. Really good chances of light to moderate rainfall here. And yes, even a little snow out towards western parts of Nebraska early tomorrow morning. Now, temperatures may actually drop during the day for some on Friday. And so it may get cold enough. We get a little snow mixed in towards central Nebraska, more likely out towards the west where upwards of an inch of snow is a possibility. And then as we get into the afternoon Friday, the moisture starts to lessen. We'll see lightening chances of, or lightening rainfall, chances of rainfall starting to go down. And then that really goes down Friday night. Most of us will spend Friday night dry Saturday morning dry between systems there's just a small chance of light rain or light snow if it were if we were to get moisture Saturday night or Friday night Saturday morning but again most of us won't see much as most of it will be to the south then a more potent area of low pressure starts to lift north during the day Saturday Saturday night Sunday we're talking about very heavy moist heavy amounts of moisture heavy precipitation cold conditions continuing windy conditions and uh, not just rain, but yes, some snow on the way here. And so let's look at rainfall totals. I'm not going to get into snowfall totals so much here, but just kind of looking at the future rain product here. Now, this does include, this is liquid equivalent precipitation. So this does include any snow we're talking about as well. If you were to melt the snow, how much would it equal rainfall wise? How much liquid precipitation? So some of us could pick up a half inch to an inch of rain here between today, tonight, and tomorrow. We get that break tomorrow night. And then that next round starts to come in Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday. And that one's, again, more potent. We're going to see heavier precipitation. Some could end out with an inch and a half, two and a half, to maybe up to three inches of liquid precipitation when it's all said and done by sometime early on Monday morning as it lifts to the northeast. So really good beneficial moisture on the way this weekend. Uh, that's the best news of all. It just comes with the price of some really nasty weather. So, uh, again, we'll talk a little bit more about that rain and snow here in just a bit. Increasing clouds up north, a slight chance of rain later today. Not going to see a very good chance, though. Not too much wind out there, highs in the 50s. Most of us will see 50s for highs today. Your best chance of rain later on today, out towards southwest Nebraska, more clouds. A little breezy out there as well. There's going to be a chance of rain later in the day in the south, increasing clouds. Temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 50s. And then off towards the east, uh, mid to upper 50s to perhaps even near 60 degrees, increasing clouds and a slight chance of rain later in the day. All right, here is that seven day forecast. I'll tell you right now, you almost split it into two forecasts. The first half is the first four days, the second half, the better half is the last three days. All right, today, increasing clouds, chance of rain later today, better chances. Pretty likely we're going to see rain overnight tonight and tomorrow. Chances much, much lower Friday night. We're getting in between the precipitation chances here. And then picking back up, increasing chances of rain during the day Saturday. And then rain possibly mixed with snow Saturday night as it gets cold enough. This will continue throughout the day Sunday, especially in central and eastern Nebraska. A likely chance we're going to see. It's almost guaranteed we're going to see moisture out there. And then the chances getting lower and lower throughout Sunday night into Monday morning as the system exits the area. So Monday likely dry into Monday night, warming things up finally after very chilly conditions over the weekend and windy too. It's just not going to be very nice. In fact, we may be setting records for lowest high temperature on Sunday for the last day of April. Uh, we stay in the upper 30s. Tuesday, Wednesday, slight chances of rain keeping it in the 60s. There are signs of even warmer air coming in, a ridge builds in as we head towards the end of next week. So a lot of nasty weather to talk about. I'm going to go on my rant now. 
I have seen a lot of people posting on social media and actually sharing it on my page of this one image of one forecast model from two days ago that showed a foot of snow on the ground. And here's the deal. I do think there's going to be some accumulating snowfall this weekend. I, it's, it's a pretty good chance. If we don't see accumulating snowfall, at least we're going to see snowflakes flying around, that's for sure, uh, because it's going to get cold enough for that. But how much snow is just, it's way too far out to predict still. We are still three or four days away from the system yet. Not only that, but uh, you're talking about time of the year where it's time. It's tough any time of the year to predict snowfall, but especially this time of the year. You have three factors working against snowfall. Very warm ground temperatures. Actual air temperatures that likely for most of us will not drop below freezing. That's going to help melt snow that falls. And then you got a much higher sun angle. And even though it'll be cloudy, enough solar radiation gets through those clouds, uh, you're gonna, you get a lot of melting from that as well. So those three factors are melting that snowfall pretty quickly. The one thing that could help, though, is a fast rate of snow. If we get really heavy snowfall, that could help to overcome it and help to pile up the snow. It does sometimes happen this time of the year. So it is a possibility. It's just how much you're trying to factor in the two things, how much uh, snow can we get. That's still a big question mark. So, again, I do expect some accumulating snowfall, but how much at this point, too tough to tell. But, again, if you're seeing a lot of snow flying and some strong winds, it could be really rough going on Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday night. So keep that in mind travel-wise as well. It's going to be nasty. It's a good indoor weekend. If you have indoor plans, keep it that way. If you have outdoor plans, you may want to consider otherwise at this point here. Wouldn't be surprised maybe even to see a few winter headlines being issued by the National Weather Service this upcoming weekend. So there is my rant. Again, be, well, actually, I'm not even done with my rant yet. Be very careful about posting these images or sharing these images on social media. You have to trust the source first off. Do you trust the source? The one that's posting it, meteorologists, they're not actually meteorologists. They're just posting it. Uh, trying to get people to click like and share this thing all over social media. I've seen over 2,000 shares of this po this one image, and then they've kind of backed off away from it. Not you know, just just be very careful. Trust the source. Make sure it's a meteorologist you trust, or somebody from the National Weather Service that you trust that's posting this information. If you're going to share it onto social media, all right. Off my soapbox now. All right, it's a very long weather cast, seven minutes long. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, uh, I don't have to cut this too much shorter here. But again, uh, hope we all have a safe a couple of days here. I'll have more on this forecast as we get into tomorrow. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all enjoy your Thursday.